Hey everyone, welcome back to Instinct Bassin. In this video, we're going to do a quick review of the Garmin GMS-10 Network Port Expander. This device will allow Garmin users to network multiple devices and have them communicate all across the Garmin network. In this video, we're going to discuss who this unit is for and then go over some pros and cons of the device. Stay tuned, I think you'll get some good useful info out of it. Real quick, before we get started, I want to take a minute and tell you to be sure to check out our new partner for 2024, and that is the GPSstore.com. Based out of North Carolina, the GPSstore.com has been around for 25 years, and whether you're looking for the latest fish finder, trolling motor, or other GPS-based product, they simply have some of the best prices anywhere you can find. Throw in free two-day shipping on thousands of items, and there isn't a better place to purchase marine electronics. I'll leave a link in the video description so you can check them out as it's a great way to support the channel and get a great deal on a new piece of gear. The GPSstore.com. Freedom to explore, discount prices, exceptional service. Alright, so this unit is considered the nerve center of the Garmin Marine Network. It comes with waterproof connections, LED indicators for individual line status, it's plug and play with Garmin devices, and then it has five network sockets and a power cable. It comes with one six foot ethernet cable and mounting hardware. So this unit is for Garmin users who want to network two or more devices together with wired connections. Depending on the unit and how many connections that unit already has, you may or may not need this unit. But typically any wired system over three fish finders are going to need it and that includes the live scope system. Alright, so let's go over some of the pros for this unit. Number one, it's completely compatible with Garmin devices so you don't have to worry about any compatibility issues. It's completely waterproof as long as you use the appropriate connectors. It comes with mounting hardware for mounting on the boat or inside the rod locker. It comes with LED indicators to let you know that the unit is powered on and that there is connections. And it comes with a one year warranty. And now some of the cons for this unit is that it is expensive at nearly $220. I have seen on uh, Facebook where, where people have built their own system for a lot less than that. I don't know how trustworthy those systems are, so feel free to look into those if that's something that is going to be a deterrent for you. It could be too long for certain boat compartments. In other words, the device itself may not fit in the, the compartment that you're wanting to put it in. It only also comes with one six foot ethernet cable, and it, so I think it would be nice if it came with a longer cable. And it also may become obsolete as more units become wireless and Wi-Fi compatible. And then finally, the wired connections can be difficult to run throughout your boat. In conclusion, whether the GMS-10 Network Port Expander is right for you is ultimately your decision. I've had it on my boat for a few weeks now and haven't had any problems whatsoever. It's great if you have multiple units and live scope that you want to network all together, and the LED indicators and warranty are a definite plus. But it could also cost more than you want to spend on what is essentially a simple network port expander. And I would like to see it come with a longer network cable. Keep in mind if you have newer UHD2 or Ultra 2 units that those units will network wirelessly, so this device will really only be useful for slightly older Garmin Marine devices. Thanks so much for watching, and if this is something you're interested in, be sure to check out the GPSstore.com for great prices and free shipping. Be sure to check out my one year review of the Garmin 106 SV Ultra, or whether or not the Garmin 93 SV is still worth purchasing. This is Rob for Instinct Bassin, trust your gut, and I'll see you on the water.